So, now the only things which are left are the uh, aiming aid here at the front of the barrel, the grips, and then I think some detail like uh, screws and bolts and things like this. So let me do this here first. I select, I will make it <clears throat> something about this size here. Then uh, I select this vertex, hit the W key, bring it in to here a bit, select this one, W key, bring this down to here, then I select an edge here, Alt-C, with a count of 1, like so. <clears throat> then I can select this edge here, hit the R key, and flatten it out. Next, uh, I select this edge, Alt-C, but 3 this time, bring this to about here, drop the tool, Alt-C again, to about here, Alt-C, uh, select this one, Alt-C again, to here. Now let's see how we hold these shapes. Yeah, <clears throat> I will bevel this one with a round level of 1. So it is a bit more accentuated like so, and I will bevel this vertex here with a round level of 1 also to make this nice and round. Drop the tool. Now I hit the C key and put in an edge in here, so we have all quads. Let's see how this looks. That looks not bad perspective. Now I put this in the middle and I rotate it slightly about so. Drop the tool then move it back to here. Drop the tool and then I go to Duplicate, Mirror, over to Z, Apply, yes. Now I can select this edge here and this edge, up arrow key, <coughs> do the same on the other side, up arrow key again, and I can now go to Edge, bridge, bridge these together and put in two edges in here with symmetry. Now let's see how this looks. Shift, tap, yeah that looks good enough. I will only make the front one because usually uh, these short barreled revolvers do not have real aiming uh, thing. I don't even know the, the English name for it. So let's see. Shift tab out and shift tab. That looks quite nice. Next <clears throat> I will put in the grips. So let's bring them on. and go to the hit the W key to about here yes 
this. So I select the outer edge, and if you remember when we started in the very first video, I beveled the, this part in, so this is a bit uh, smaller, so I can just go to Edge Extend, Set Key, and then bring this one in, go to the back view, select the entire thing, and make it a bit more so perspective. Now let's see, I think I take these polys and these polys. No, 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 not yet. I select all these polygons here. Like so, and hit the W key and make this round a bit, like so. Now I select these polys and these polygons and hit the W key again. So, now let's see how this looks. Shift tab. Mm, that looks not bad. Okay, next I want to insert a screw here. To do this, I select these four polygons, go and align the workplace to this selection. Then I can go to top view and select uh, a cylinder with eight edges. Make it as big as possible, maybe five and five millimeters. Drop the tool. Now I can delete these polygons, <coughs> select this new one, hit the W key and center it here a bit. Drop the tool, hit the B key for bevel, bevel this in, drop the tool. Now I can select these edges and these edges and <coughs> Uh, bridge these together. Drop the tool, reset the work plane, and let's see what we got. Let's go to perspective. No, sorry, wrong one. Okay. Now I make a screw in here exactly the same way we did it on the main body of the revolver. I hit the B key again, bevel this in on the blue handle, shift click, bevel it out to here, shift click, bevel it in a bit, shift click, bevel it in again Shift click, shift click, shift click, and bring it out again. And bevel it in once more, and again, and drop the tool. So, this is how it looks quite nice. Now I can select this one and then go to duplicate, 
<coughs> mirror, apply, and the grips are done as well. Drop the two. Now let's make a render. Grips, drum, body, cartridges. No. Body is Shift tap these, then go to the drum, shift tap this one. Now we should have everything in the same <coughs> so here it is I will now make some more details and I make it exactly the same way as I did this screw here and then we'll come back when everything is finished so here it is. It's finally finished. I added some materials, as you can see here. Nothing special. <clears throat> I didn't have a studio, just made, made a quick render. And uh, it took a while to finish this project. I have learned a lot, and I hope you could learn one or the other thing as well. So. Thank you for your time and your patience and uh, take care, have fun modeling with Modo and see you some other time. Bye bye.